In Proposition 35, we prove that if two parallelograms have a base in common and are in the same parallel lines, then the parallelograms must be congruent. To begin, we are given parallelogram ABCD and parallelogram EBCF. We are also given that line AF is parallel to line BC. Now since we have parallelogram ABCD, by Proposition 34, line AD is congruent to line BC. And with parallelogram EBCF and Proposition 34, line BC is congruent to line EF. Now with the following two statements, we apply axiom 1 to attain line AD is congruent to line EF. Now with this statement and line DE, we apply axiom 2 to attain line AD plus line DE is congruent to line EF plus line DE. And what this turns out to be is line AE is congruent to line DF. Again, by Proposition 34, parallelogram ABCD has line AB congruent to line DC. Now notice that the parallel lines AB and DC are intersected by line AF. Therefore, by Proposition 29, the exterior angle FDC is congruent to the opposite interior angle EAB. Now since triangle EAB and triangle FDC share a corresponding side, angle, and side, then by Proposition 4, triangle EAB is congruent to triangle FDC. Next, with triangle DGE, we apply axiom 3 to attain triangle EAB minus triangle DGE is congruent to triangle FDC minus triangle DGE. And what this turns out to be is quadrilateral ABGD is congruent to quadrilateral EGCF. Now with triangle GBC, we apply axiom 2 to attain quadrilateral ABGD plus triangle GBC is congruent to quadrilateral EGCF plus triangle GBC. And what this turns out to be is parallelogram ABCD is congruent to parallelogram EBCF. Therefore, we have proven that if two parallelograms share a base in common and are in the same parallel lines, then the parallelograms are congruent.